is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Gentlemen, I have been in extreme observation mode as of late. Now, I have seen a steady, slow, but steady increase in homeless women. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, as much as society wants to try to maintain face that things are okay, now things are really going off the rails, especially for those who really see what's going on. Those of us who have seen behind the curtain. Now, I found an article that I want to share that is definitely going to shed some light on this recent turn of events. Now, this article was published on the 19th of January. Boomers don't have nearly enough retirement savings, especially women. Now, we all know what's going to be the horse that's going to be drug out and beaten when it comes to this article. So you shouldn't be surprised. Boomers don't have enough saved for retirement per new census data. Women are worse off with fewer savings than men, more of whom have six figures saved. Okay, the wage gap. They just refuse to let this lie rest in peace. The wage gap has made it so that women have less money than men to put towards savings. Okay, it's not a wage gap. It is a choice of job gap. End of. You see, ladies, you chose to go to work. You chose to divorce your husbands. Oh, and speaking of that, who is the biggest cohort for divorce? Oh yeah, it's the boomers. The boomers are still getting divorced to this very day. And if you think I'm pulling your chain, look at the second article that I'm going to link in the description box where it breaks down by generation who gets divorced the most. <laughs> so they don't want to go into the actual weeds as to why men have more saved than women. Come on now, we know this. Women have been set up via society with a series of short-term victories. However, we as men, we do what? We play the long game. Anyway, the golden years aren't shining bright for some boomers, many of whom don't have enough money saved for retirement. Well, whose problem is that? Well, it's definitely not Gen X's problem. As a matter of fact, Gen X got thoroughly screwed by the boomers. So we don't care. It's an even bigger problem for women who don't have the savings that men do, according to a report that the U.S. Census Bureau released last week. About 50% of women ages 55 to 66 have no personal retirement savings compared to 47% of men the researchers found. You see, ladies, one of the hidden costs of divorce is soul-crushing poverty. Oh, yeah. You see, in the long run, who really wins when it comes to divorce? Any guesses? The lawyers, the system wins. Why? Well, let's go ahead and take a little bit of a detour. 
when it comes to divorce, women say they're going to take everything that a man or their husband has. Okay, the system sets it up for the women to do that. Guess what those women don't think about? They don't think about the future, especially if they get the house, all the properties. Do they actually maintain that house? Do they maintain that property? No. When it comes to the houses, usually what happens? Maintenance, homeowner fees, all of those things that those women are unable to pay. And guess what? They end up losing those houses. They lose all of those material goods that they stole via the state from their ex-husband. However, what happens to the ex-husband? Usually, he ends up getting himself back on his feet or he ends up, you know, homeless when he can't pay all of that. But guess what? The women don't think that far down the line, not to mention all the other debts that come with divorce. But hey, the bank end up getting the house, the lawyers end up getting all the money, and guess what? The woman, she ends up in poverty. And let's go back to the fact that boomers are still the number one group for divorce. Ladies, or should I say you boomer ladies, have really set up a blueprint for failure. <laughs> oh well, oh well, not Gen X's problem, not Gen X's fault. But anyway, the report also said that marriage has a big impact on how much one can save. Um, They're even trying to throw marriage into this. However, we know that marriage for men is a horrible deal because married men are unable to save like people want to believe that married men save. Why? Because of all of the hidden costs that married men pay. In their assessment, the researchers found that about 35% of people who were married at least once have no retirement savings, which goes right back to what I previously talked about in all of the hidden costs that married people pay. Oh yeah, there are a lot of hidden costs. But anyway, compared to 60% of people who were never married. So for you men out there, you young men, don't get married. If you really want to save for your future, do not get married. Both men and women who have been married experience long-term savings benefits. See, this whole this whole paragraph is a contradiction. It truly is. But anyway, the report shows that roughly half of all retirement age Americans have no savings. Women have less. The savings gap is negligible between men and women with $10,000 saved and much bigger between men and women who have $100,000 saved, with men doing better as the amount of savings increases. Well, what types of jobs did these men work? How long did they work these jobs? Were these men married? Did they get divorced? See, all of these questions that are conveniently left out of the conversation. Coupled with the generation's debt load and a dwindling social security program, boomers' puny funds may signal a partly a retirement that is not all that it's cracked up to be. For women, 
it's partly a result of the long-term effects of the wage gap. Throughout their careers, they've earned less to sock away. Once again, what types of jobs did these women work? And, and how much did these women spend on useless crap trying to keep up with their other girlfriends? Mmm. Once again, more questions that are conveniently left out of the conversation. Boomer finances aren't looking rosy. Dismal retirement savings are an even bigger issue in the context of boomers' debt load. The typical boomer household is headed into retirement owing $28,672. It is going down. Considering that the actual savings balance of most retirees is lower than it should be, they won't have much to dip into to pay off that debt. The median 55 to 64 year olds 401k balance is $61,738 according to to Vanguard data. For those 65 and up, it is $58,035. That's not to mention the sizable chunk of boomers that the census have found to have no retirement savings at all. See, here is the big thing. It's leaving boomers woefully unprepared to afford health care, which also happens to cost more for women. Oh, ladies. Oh, <laughs> see that whole thing called menopause really wrecks your system in more ways than one. Not only does it kill your baby factory, it completely destroys that. It bombs it out and depletes it, you know, like Afghanistan. But there are also so many other health problems that come with menopause. That guess what? If you had a husband, that might be manageable. But guess what? You threw your husband out. You stole all his stuff. And you thought life was going to be a party until old age. No, ladies. Reality is a motherfucker. It truly is. Well, go ahead and read the rest of the article. You're going to find a whole lot more things that they intentionally drag in, which I find personally sick. Yeah, whenever they drag race into stuff like this, you know they're using that as a smoke screen. But anyway... Anyway, yeah, I'm seeing a steady increase of particularly older women who are out here begging in these streets. Oh, well, ladies, you brought this on to yourselves. You drunk the Kool-Aid of feminism. You thought life was going to be grand for you. You thought big daddy government was going to continue to pay your way into eternity. However, the system is not sustainable. And once you've aged out of feminism, feminists really don't care about you. Like all the old women who still find themselves trying to compete with younger women via social media. And boy, I'm going to have fun talking about that. Oh, that is just sad. But anyway, anyway, read the rest of the article. Let me know what you guys think. And ladies, particularly you boomer women out there, the power, especially for your age group, is going out. 
feminism has already left you behind. And guess what? The system can't sustain you. So guess what? You're being cast away. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out.